Hey guys, it's Luca with Learning MTG, and today is my birthday. Today I turn 31, and usually what I like to do for my birthday is I like to write something where I kind of go over what I've learned about over the past year or over the course of my life. Um, in the description of this video, I'll put a link to what I put down last year, and I'll also put a link to another video that I made um, kind of on a similar topic. I made it a few days ago. So today I want to talk about what I learned from ants. Um, most people probably don't know, but when I was in college, I did an internship at RIT. Basically, um, it was a research internship related with ant colony optimization, which is uh, an algorithm. And what my job was there was to try to use this algorithm to cluster an image. So basically, if you think of like an aerial image, you know, you're taking a picture of say grass, roads, trees, um, buildings. Uh, my job was to use this this algorithm and colony optimization to say, okay, these pixels are grass pixels, these pixels are tree pixels, these pixels are road pixels, and kind of like put them into buckets. So, so I did some uh, some research, and I really started to learn a lot about this algorithm, and it was really fascinating. So it was invented by this Italian guy. His name is Dorigo. And he was basically watching these ants and he was saying, wow, these ants are really good at finding efficient paths to food sources and to other things. How do they do it? Well, basically what the ants do is as they travel along the ground, they leave pheromones on the ground. And so if a lot of ants follow down the same path, there's going to be a lot of pheromones in that path and more ants will be attracted to that path. In addition, if the ants find quicker paths, so let's say they go to a food source and come back quickly, those pheromones will evaporate more slowly and therefore there will also be more pheromones. So the quicker paths and the more uh, trodden paths are paths with more pheromones. And so he tried to construct uh, a computer algorithm that basically built off of the wisdom of the ants or just kind of imitated what the ants were doing. Um, and so, so how does this relate to my life? Well basically there's there's two functions in the classic version of this algorithm. Um, on one hand, the ants go down the well-trodden paths. They follow those paths that have shown to be successful. So you can imagine if there's a hundred different paths, the ants will say, okay, what are our best five paths? What are our best three paths? Let's go down those paths and let's try to optimize those paths even further. Let's try to make those even more efficient. So that's part of what they do. But in addition, they also go into the totally unexplored areas. So the ants also will want to go to where there are no pheromones. And in that way, they get to explore basically uncharted territory and maybe find a new quick path or a new food source. So how does that relate to my life? Basically, over the past year, I've done a lot of experimentation with a lot of different things. And... Um, I've just found it's reaped huge rewards for me. And basically I think what happens is people are scared, I was scared to try new things because most of the times you get burned. Most of the times when you jump into something brand new, you, uh, you kind of make all the rookie mistakes and it doesn't work out in the short term. But as you can see from this algorithm and from life in general, when you do kind of try a lot of things, yeah, you may have that uh, no real short-term benefit, but when you do find something that really works, um, that can be amazing. Um, let me let me talk about some of the experiments I've done recently. For example, um, I tried I tried buying a record collection and tried flipping that, and that went terribly. And basically, um, what ended up happening was. Uh, you know, I've been selling a lot of my parents' old records for them, um, and that was going great, but I didn't realize, you know, when you're buying a random collection on Craigslist, they can be in terrible condition, and then all of a sudden they're unsellable. So I lost a bunch of money on that. On the other hand, I decided to experiment uh, with comics, and I bought a comic collection, and actually, I totally random luck, in, in doing that uh, deal, the guy ended up having magic cards and he was like, hey, I'm trying to get rid of these. And I was like, yeah, I'll buy them. And I ended up making a lot of money off of the magic cards. So that opened up a whole new thing where I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe instead of directly looking for magic cards, that's like a super uh, competitive thing. It's, it's hard to find good deals for magic collection because so many people are looking for that. Maybe I'll find tangential things and then through that get deals for magic cards. Um, 
another thing I experimented with was Grubhub, like trying Grubhub. I had no idea if I would like it or hate it or if it would be terrible. For example, I tried Amazon Flex and I kind of hated it. And I tried Grubhub and I love it. And now I do Grubhub every day. So I think there's just a huge payoff to experimenting, trying brand new things, even though probably nine times out of a 10, it won't work out. Um, but just having that experience gives you a chance at something much greater. I think, I think in life, if you, um, if you put a focus on learning, if you put a focus on having a greater understanding of things, you kind of have an exponential trajectory because that learning, that additional understanding, it carries with you throughout all your future transactions, let's say. Um, whereas if you're optimizing for the short term gain, you're going to have more of a linear trajectory in life. And, um, and why, why do that? Why, why limit yourself in that way just for a, a small short term gain? So, so that's kind of the big lesson. One of the big lessons I've had over the past year is to experiment a lot. And I encourage other people to experiment a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video.